All right, Stockmaster fans, another re review from my previous channel. Burial Ground, the Knights of Terror. Let's check it out. Our movie starts with an archaeologist, a professor who learns something. I'm the only one who knows the secret. So what exactly is this secret? I'm not sure, but he's found a crypt. And he has somehow resurrected zombies. Slow moving, flesh eating zombies. Prior to being devoured by zombies, he invited like these three couples to come visit him in his mansion. I don't think he's going to show them their like his findings or whatever. George, darling, why doesn't anyone answer? Staff is still there. Our three cars arrive. Yes, thank you, Captain. Glad to see you again, sir. Huh? One of the ladies finds a sexy outfit to put on. During their throws, they get interrupted by her son. The son almost seems jealous. What are you doing here? Go back to your room this instant. That's Michael. Our zombies are on the prowl. Strange things start happening. As the zombies move closer to the house. And they sneak up on the couple, making out. the attack. Now these zombies seem to be moving slow enough that you should be able to run away from them with ease. Weird Boy's mom douses this one with gasoline. Here our zombies show some agility here with a spike. Got her. And since she's stuck there, now they can grab her head. Apparently they are adept at using tools too. As they're trying to force their way into the mansion. Give me some more cartridges. They're agile too. This one's got a hold of a chick through a broken window. Weird Boy's mom was a warrior. Mom, I can't stand it anymore. Please let me stay close to you, Mom. Oh, my poor darling. Can you forgive me for having brought you to this terrible place? And then things get a little weird when Weird Boy starts to feel up his mother. 
gonna bare her breast in a second here, which I can't show you, and then put his hand up her dress. I need to feel you near me. I need to touch you. When I was a baby, you always used to hold me to your breast. I loved your breast so much, Mama. Michael. <laughs> Michael runs off. Leslie. And finds Leslie. Leslie. Leslie's not right anymore. Mama finds Michael. Leslie's chewing on his arm. Well, then the professor shows up and we thought he was dead. Well, I guess he is. We thought he was eaten and dead. Nope. He's just dead and now he's eaten. So they find this group of monks and they're going to go in there to try to get help. The door was open. So we just came in. Something. Things are going on. Terrible things. Of course, the monks are already zombies, too. No solace there. You know, as our zombies are going after whoever's left. The monks ate the dude. Michael shows up. Michael. Michael. So happy. Oh, Michael. She welcomes him back with open arms. You know he ain't right. Are you here? And then Michael takes a bite out of Mama. While Michael chews on his mother, the monk zombies turn on the buzzsaw. That's the end of that guy. And as he's going to get sliced, we can see her about to get grabbed by the zombies as well. And that's our film. All right, let's talk about Burial Ground. What is this one? Well, it's an Italian-made horror film, and it's got a little renown because of a particular scene involving... Uh, the kid in this movie, who was played by a 25-year-old, by the way. What we have here is a movie. There's this archaeologist professor guy who discovers some sort of secret written in these stones, these uh, big tablets or whatever the hell it is. I don't know. He's in some cave somewhere or whatever. Next thing you know, um, he ends up resurrecting uh, some dead bodies who are now flesh-eating zombies. They kill him, and uh, they're on the loose. Now, uh, the professor, before he died, invited, like, these three couples or something to come to his mansion to spend the weekend. He was going to show them his discoveries or something. I don't know. I don't even know if he's related to them or what. I don't know. So the three couples come and one of them, uh, well, actually it's not a couple. I think it's a, it's a woman. No, it is a couple. Uh, she brings her son, um, this weird looking guy, uh, who, uh, I guess he's supposed to be about 12, but he's played by a 25 year old. He doesn't look 12 either, but whatever. So anyway, um, while they're at this mansion, they do typical things. They they have sex, they have fun, they party, whatever. But then next thing you know, these zombies are, are, are coming around and they start attacking them. Um, the zombies are very slow-moving zombies. They kind of remind me of like the, uh, even their look actually, they kind of remind me of like those Blind Dead movies, Tombs of the Blind Dead movies uh, with the Templars. Uh, kind of just slow-moving and they'll kill you if they catch you, but it shouldn't be too hard to get away from them because they move pretty darn slow. In fact, one of the guys in the movie even mentions that at one point. But nonetheless, they seem to manage to catch you and they kill you and they eat you. Uh, there's some good gore in this movie. Um, there's a scene where this maid gets her head cut off. That was kind of nice. Um, ultimately, we got a couple survivors at the end. Uh, the woman who's got the goofy son, um, they seem to have a very peculiar relationship. At one point, they're very uh, close, huggy, kissy, and uh, gropey. Um, the kid starts feeling up his mom, pulling out her tit and touching it and puts her hand up her legs. And the mom slaps him, says, stop it. Don't you do that. But then later on, you know, he's like, you know, I used to suckle at your breast when I was young. You know, I want to do that again. That sort of thing. Just fucking weird. <laughs> but, um, she denies him, of course, because that's 
would be inappropriate. Of course, she lets him go quite a ways before she denies him, but whatever. Anyway, her son eventually gets killed by one of the zombies, and they're eating his arm, and she's freaking out. And then we got, uh, I think, three survivors left at the end, and then the son walks in, um, and she's like, oh, my son, you're back. You're you're fine. You're alive. And they embrace, uh, and then uh, he, uh, she opens up her blouse to expose her breast, and she says, here, you can have it, basically. Um, I denied you before, but since you're alive again, you can have this. And then he proceeds to suck on the nipple, and then he bites it and rips it off, and then she's dead. And then the zombies catch up with the other two survivors, and the zombies actually turn on a, a, a buzzsaw and uh, chop that guy up, and then they attack the woman in the last scene of the movie, and that's how it ends. So there are no survivors in Burial Ground, none. So that's it. It's an Italian maid. Um, it's a little silly. Uh, I've read some stuff that apparently people think the... Uh, the uh, dialogue is ridiculous in this movie, and it kind of is. Uh, who knows? It's the dubbed version, obviously. Who knows if the original Italian dialogue is that bad? Who knows? Um, some decent gore, like I said. A couple of brief nude scenes. Uh, one ripped off nipple, um, which is a very disturbing scene, by the way. I remember the last time I mo watched this movie, which was about five years ago, I found the the kid who plays the, uh, the kid. Uh, uh, he was 25 years old. Now he's probably... Uh, this was 40 years ago. It was probably in the mid-60s. But he has a Facebook account. I actually found his personal Facebook account. Didn't do anything with it, but I did find it. It's there. Maybe it's still there. I don't know. But anyway, that is it. It's Burial Ground. It's a fun little film. Uh, decent gore, like I said. Uh, I believe it's on Blu-ray now, too. It's also got Burial Ground, The Nights of Terror. So it's decent. You should check it out. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments down below. I'll leave a link to Amazon if you're looking to buy it. And damn it, you should buy it. Click and watch it. Bye. Click and buy it.